APS has been working in the semiconductor industry for almost 30 years. So since the early 1990s, with time does come knowledge. Anything that comes into contact with acids or gases used to etch silicon wafers into what we know as semiconductor chips is going to have to stand up to some serious wear and tear. It'd be nice if we could find some things that don't react at all, and it does turn out that there are things that don't react with these gases or the acids. It also turns out it's just not possible to make all the process and support equipment out of these inert materials. So we do the next best thing, which is to make it look like the equipment is all made out of inert materials by coating the surfaces that see the harshest side of the process. Semiconductors get introduced to gases and acids in certain areas. In order to protect those, we put these coatings on them. We can take inexpensive aluminum, steel, stainless even, and coat it with a ceramic layer using our thermal spray to essentially create a part that mimics the coating material. That part can now stand up to the semiconductor process, and even better still, the part can be serviced and recoded, meaning extending the life of the part before it has to be scrapped, if ever. It allows the parts to last a lot longer. Uncoated versus coating, coating's gonna last longer. Also, we can coat it as time goes on, maintain its strength and maintain its hardiness. Some of the physical vapor deposition processes rely on finding a place to deposit small pieces of byproduct that have nowhere else to go. We sometimes use pure metals such as aluminum to capture these loose particles or even pure silicon on chemical CVD liners. Another popular application is controlling heat by insulating a surface with zirconium oxide. And APS now offers a slippery, low friction coating commonly known as PTFE which is used in all kinds of markets, even by a medical. PTFE, it's a low friction coating. So if you think about low friction, you don't want anything grabbing it. It allows it to kind of stay that way. It's not rough and porous. While the actual coating is what the end user is most concerned about, after learning what goes into it, they're usually fairly surprised with the extensive masking required to make sure there isn't any overspray, there's no damage to O-ring or other sealing surfaces, vacuum surfaces are pristine, and there's no loose coating particles after our ultrasonic cleaning. One of the biggest things you can see from our, our customers is the happiness they get when they get this product. They see the behind the scenes of what has gone into it, and then they see the final product, and they put together how much really does go into the semiconductor industry.